Hi everybody, Patrick here from paintballprops.com and engineeringshock.com. Links below. Uh, today I'm going to show you a fun little device just showing off the ability to uh, easily add RFID to your um, escape room props. Uh, I built this essentially just for fun and just as a demonstration. And what this is, is this one of our uh, Engineering Shock RFID readers. I've programmed in four cards um, and that interfaces with this module which is designed for another purpose uh, but has an LCD on it. So I just made some modifications so that they can work together. And basically you'd use the LCD uh, to offer up secret information if you use the right card on the RFID antenna. And I've programmed in four different pieces of uh, uh, essentially four different puzzle pieces that would be related to several different games. You'll see how it works when I power it. I'm going to power it up right now. Awaiting valid card data. I'm hoping you can see the LCD alright. Now I've got five cards here. I've got the order in them in order. One, two, three, four, and this one is an invalid card. So just to uh, give you a better idea, I'm going to show you one card, uh, card one, and I'm going to show you what happens on the LCD, and then I'm going to zoom in on the LCD so you can get a better look. So I've programmed it so that if I place card one, it says card one detected, reading data, dot, dot, dot. And after a few seconds, it'll, it'll give me the, the uh, hint, and the hint will stay up for about 10 seconds. Daily electronic lock combo, one, two, six, seven. So if that was programmed for your game, you'd enter 1267 into your combination lock to open the door. Again, this is a puzzle piece, so uh, you have to find the card and use the card on the, R on the RFID antenna to give you that specific piece of data. Now if I use card 2, card 2 detected reading data. And what's the hint? LED color combo, blue plus red plus green. So. Some people, some uh, escape rooms have um, color button puzzles where you have to press the buttons in a certain order, and that is just that's just again another pu another puzzle completely. I programmed in four completely different uh, puzzle pieces. So you say I find card three, and again the hint will stay up for ten seconds. Look behind the picture frame. Of course, in that specific game, uh, once you find the card, you find that. The next piece of the puzzle is behind the picture frame. You get the idea. This is just uh, an example. Lastly, I'll do, or second lastly, I'll do card four. And let's see what I have programmed there. Cut the red wire and enter one, one, two, one. And that might work for something along, uh, my, along the lines of my Betty paintball time bomb prop found at paintballprops.com and at engineeringshock.com. So I'm going to zoom back out and show you what happens if you enter in uh, an invalid card. This is the fifth card, uh, and it's not programmed in. And what happens if you enter in an invalid card is the uh, RFID reader just blinks. Nothing happens. So this card hasn't been programmed in. So it's, I mean, it's very easy. I can customize. I can customize this to work however you'd like it. That's again card one. And uh, yeah, so just wanted to, to uh, make it. It was a fun afternoon project, just to give you an idea of uh, what you can do. Um, if you if you're, you own an escape room or know somebody who does who, and uh, is interesting interested in custom escape room work uh, electronic work please send them my way because uh, I'm currently doing custom work for escape rooms and the like thanks again for watching I hope you all have a Merry Christmas 2015 uh, this is the 21st of December happy holidays everyone check us out at paintballprops.com and engineeringshot.com take care and thanks again